everyone. I am actually in Chicago as we speak on business. And it's an hour difference from where I live. So it's 8.13 in Chicago, but it's 9.13 <laughs> where I actually live in Detroit, Michigan. Um, focus is going to be total body, but I'm doing it slightly different. Remember I said September's focus is on weight training and on shaping your body into an hourglass. So we know diet is what's going to help you with losing excess body fat. We know doing some moderate cardio is going to help, you know, leaving your stress levels down and things like that. Get you in the groove of a new pattern or lifestyle. And for those of you who have already been working out and doing this stuff anyway, um, it's kind of like a back to basics thing. So it kind of helps you refocus, regroup. I'm going to go in here. I think I'm going to do treadmill and then I know the focus is going to be on shoulders, upper body. So let's go. All right, so remember I told you I'm starting a little bit differently. I'm starting off with some warm-up cardio. Prefer to use the Stairmaster in this case, about 10 minutes. And then I'm going to warm up my shoulders with what is called a shoulder press. There's many different ways to do this press. They have the Arnold press, they have the twist press, There's so many different names for it. But we're just gonna focus on just pressing up towards the ceiling. So you're gonna make sure that your palms are facing in the same direction your eyes are facing and you are pressing up. You want to focus on feeling your shoulders, the cap of your shoulders pushing the weight in your arms up. So don't just swing this up, push, press it up. And then we're going to do what is called a tricep. So there's three exercises that you're gonna do non-stop without rest, except for after you finish it, then you will uh, be able to do a rest. Your rest is as long as you like, but to get the best benefit, no more than a minute for this particular tricep. So um, the last one, this is called uh, rear delt flies. So I'm gonna show you again from the beginning what the three exercises are. They all focus on your shoulders. They're great. You're gonna feel a little heavy breath if you especially use a heavier weight, which is usually what I do. So these are lateral raises, supinated, meaning that you wanna pull your pinky up towards the top. And then you're going to do what is called front raises. And you wanna make sure you focus the weight coming up right towards the middle of your body and you're alternating. And then these are the rear delt flies where you have this look of like a W. So you're actually pulling your elbows back and not necessarily uh, pulling your arms to feel your back. So again, these are your lateral raises. Make sure you can Feel your shoulders burning so you're raising up and focus that muscle. And if you notice the front raises, I'm making sure that weight hits right up towards the center of my chest, right at eye level, right in the center of the body, alternating this move. And then again with the rear delts, um, that W, and feel like you're pulling a band apart. Pulling your elbows back, but pulling a band apart. And this is your shoulder exercise. You can do up to six uh, sets of this and then finish off with whatever cardio machine that you like, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, totally up to you. But yeah, you see I like to do things on an incline. This is my way of doing it as a total body workout because I am working my legs with the Stairmaster and on the treadmill. So to recap for your shoulder workout, your warm up is an overhead press, four sets, 10 to 20 reps, use a light weight. And you also wanna make sure that you have short rest periods. In your triceps, you are doing five sets, 10 to 15 reps. Uh, raise your weight, moderate weight, a little heavier than your warm up. Recognize that you are doing three exercises as one as a tricep, lateral raises, front raises, and rear delt flies. 
for best results, keep your uh, rest period one minute max. So that's it guys. Make sure you look down below for recommendations on how often you should perform this workout, preferably at least once a week. Look out for new workout videos. We'll be focusing on back, your waistline, and your legs, and I will see you in the next video.